Welcome back. So most parents think they've taught their children about social media and stranger danger, but for some, the message just isn't getting through. Some New Jersey parents actually took part in a child predator social experiment that's now gone viral. Dave Carlin from our sister station in New York shows us the shocking results. Michaela, are you crazy? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what are you thinking? These parents are screaming at their underage daughters after their girls put themselves in extreme stranger danger. The parents consented, allowing this man, Kobe Person, to conduct and videotape the chilling social experiment. I made a fake profile on Facebook posing as a 15-year-old boy. Would the three girls he contacted meet with him all alone? Each time the answer was yes. And each time the parents were right there, at first hiding. In this case, behind masks in the back of a kidnapper van. Dad, yeah, stop it, your mother and father. It's tough, and it's scary, and it's getting people's attention. 21 million views in two days. Person, a professional prankster from Clifton, New Jersey, says he found the parents with a Craigslist ad. We, we approached them in a very professional manner. The parents, including this man who's about to surprise his 12-year-old daughter letting a stranger in the house, said, not my kid. So imagine the shock. You're 12 years old. This is 20 years old. You could have been raped and murdered. Where were you lost your mother? What would I do if anything happened to you? It's really showing parents that this could happen to anybody. Watching the video with child psychologist Susan Bartell. Shadow, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? This poor father, he's frantic. He's absolutely frantic. But she is not surprised. From my own personal clinical experience, many, many girls will go with strangers into potentially dangerous situations. We have to talk. Dr. Bartell wants parents and kids to watch the video together and then the parents lay down the law. You can't assume that if they're telling you they've never done it or that they wouldn't do it, that in fact that's truthful. The rule is you never go anywhere alone with a stranger. It doesn't matter how much you're tempted to. Some say these parents went too far. A little bit drastic. But Kobe person says the parents did everyone a favor. Yeah, I think they are heroes. Parents who love their kids enough to scare them. <laughs> oh, do I ever do this again? And save them. In Midtown, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Yeah, that controversial video has a lot of people talking, including author and social media expert J.J. Cannon. Jen, thanks for being here with us thanks this for morning. Me. I know you had a reaction to this video like so many of us. A lot of people didn't know how to feel. What's your reaction? My initial reaction was, oh, my God, this is absolutely terrifying. Mm -hmm. And then my next reaction was, I'm not sure this is the greatest teaching tool for kids. I'm never a fan of publicly shaming or humiliating kids. Mm -hmm. These parents made a choice to participate in this. I can't control that, but there is a bigger message that we can talk about, and I think there are some preventative measures that parents can take. Absolutely, and I know you have some recommendations for parents, you know, based on your experience. Really quickly off the bat, I noticed it was all teenage girls, and you're saying, hey, yes. boys are in this too, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. This could, I want people to know, this could happen to anyone. Mm -hmm. It could happen to your son or daughter. It could happen to a young adult. Um, I, I think that parents need to be really careful yeah. and really limit their kids' time on which social media sites. Yeah, they I know choose. you have some some really um, specific recommendations for parents. Let's start with the first one. Um, you just mentioned it, limiting the number of social media sites they're on. Yes. And once they get started, they say, "Oh well, I need a Snapchat, and I need an Ask, and I need this, and I need a Twitter and an mm -hmm. Instagram." I would, if you're starting out, especially for that 12-year-old girl, pick one yeah. and see how they handle it. And you said make sure it's appropriate, right? Yes. I really don't want my kids on anything that it uh, provides total or almost total anonymity. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure it's on the up and up. Follow and friend your child and track the yes. activity. Absolutely. Yes. You can do this uh, very easily through parental control software and there are certain softwares out there that, that will literally track every keystroke and you can enter keywords like meet up or let's chill or whatever and the parents can receive an email about something that they're concerned about. And again, never meet up with strangers, not even, not in, even public. in public. That's huge. No, not even in public because when you're a child and you're suddenly in that situation, you're caught off guard and you're thrown off balance. Okay, and finally, the phone is a privilege, not a right. I love 
love this one. You said you're the parent. <laughs> Take it away if you have Take to, right? Take the power back, parents. Yeah. I feel like so many parents are worried that they're invading their child's privacy yeah. because they've given them this device. Okay, all right. JJ Cannon, author and social media expert. We Thanks. appreciate it. Thanks for having for coming me. in this morning. All right, we're going to switch gears now. 7.30.